Well guys, I got that back piece all back together some sort of way. Weld it, saw it, and then a skim of fiberglass on it. Not going to be too fussy with how smooth it is. Same down here, got that fiberglass. Not going to worry about how smooth it is. Um, Got, I still got to do the seam seal. I got a seam seal in there, uh, along underneath, in behind the rocker, along that edge, um, down in there, seam seal let up, um, and I think the floor underneath, if I haven't already done it. Oh, I did that already. And I got to spray that. I got that fender piece welded on it. Like I said, nothing fancy, but it's all new. I uh, broke the bolt off, so I put a couple sheet metal screws in there. Uh, skip a body fill. I'm gonna rock guard to this molding for now. Um, those fenders are really paper thin. But I thought I'd give you a shot of this before I uh, wrap it up and uh, I was just talking to Stephanie, it's the, my stepdaughter that owns the car. If it runs all right this winter, we're going to look around, get a couple fenders. See, fenders aren't, as you can see, I push here, they move there. It's, they're not great, and they're not worth fixing. So, like I said, if the car's worth it, we're going to put a couple new fenders on it and pick up a door that's not all bent up. Uh, I'm sure there's some of these cars around. Cause there's a million on the road so but uh i'm just going to seam sealer up here and, and then clean up wash her down tape her up and rock dirt along the bottom and that's going to be a wrap i get her back together and she should pass road inspection that's the main 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 concern right now um just get her so she passes um yeah, i still got to go over the lights uh, there's a couple bulbs out in the back high brake light and tail light park light is out back there and never checked the front yet and uh geez the headlights are really good shape on this car well where's still fit mine mine are all cloudy i gotta do something with mine those are just as nice as nice could be well okay i'll be back with uh black along the bottom A little rock dirt action. This stuff does wonders. Just first coat. We'll give her another coat. After. Covers up a lot of stuff. Great for this kind of fix. And we'll get under here. I'll give it all sand with 180 quickly and uh, wash it down. Box and grease remover. And give it a little bit of tape and paper. Not a lot. There's not no overspray over this off of this, so and I don't know if I can leave it black or not. I might uh, try to make some single stage silver. So just mix half and half clear and silver and Give her a shot. I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you see that later. There we go. It's all cleaned up now. Get the, I'll let that set tonight. And tomorrow night I'll come out and put the bumper on and the mud flaps. Take it outside, give the rest of the car a good bath. Looks a heck of a lot better. It's rough, but she saw it now. 
she'd probably even float. <laughs> I put a lot of seam sealer in around my weld and stuff, so. Uh, oh yeah, and I still gotta undercoat it. Um, I give that a little shot. Well, on there where it was rusty, I scuffed it off first. And give that a little shot. A piece I built. Like I said, it's rough, but at least it's all one color. And silver looked a lot better than the black. So, this ought to do the trick. So anyways, guys, I get that bumper back on, and this one's away. And, oops. Anyways, just a quick touch up, I guess we'll call it. It, uh, I don't know, probably 15 hours to do that up and get it ready for inspection. And I think it'll hold for a while. So, like I said, if the car works good, we'll put some more time into it next year. Doors, fender, one door, two fenders, and uh, maybe get the whole car shot of paint. Because I think it's worth it. The body is not as bad as I thought. I mean, it's gone in where it was gone, but it's not really all rusted pieces. So the floor's good. All the, the subframe connections up front where the, all the steering is, is really good. Motor works good, so it might be worth it. So we'll see how, how she pan, pans out through the winter. So anyways, guys, just a quick video. I hope it's quick. Um, I, somebody asked about when I was going to get back on the Nova. It's going to be in a couple weeks time. Uh, I want to get the truck box in here. And uh, now that I've decided to actually do the motor swap, I am going to get the box in here and get it up for sale. I'm going to prime it. I don't know if I'll paint it, but I'm going to prime it. And uh, I'll put it up for sale, see if I can get a pretty good price out of that. And then I'm going to bring the truck in and pull the engine out of that. Engine and tranny, all in one chunk. Um, clean it up, see if there's any leaks, replace gaskets, whatever. Uh, try to figure the wiring harness out. Um, like I said, I'm still looking into that. That's going to be my uh, challenge, is hooking that wiring harness to the Novus, because I don't want to change the steering column and all that stuff. And i got to figure out just how I'm going to gear up a tank. Um, Tom Noble said that uh, Rock Auto Parts might have one with the, the fuel pump right in it. I'm not sure I didn't check that out yet, but that might be the way to go. Or I might do like uh, Scott did, Scott Best, and try and build one to uh, handle that brand new fuel pump I put in the truck there last year. <laughs> so I don't know if I can do that, but I'm, I'm going to try. I'll look into it first and go from there. So just to see if I can do it. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, first thing, we're going to get that motor out of the truck. And it's going to be like in a couple weeks time. So next weekend, I plan on bringing the box in, doing that up, getting that ready for sale. And uh, then I can start, I can pull the rest of the pieces off as they go because the doors are good and stuff like that. So they can go as they are. So, but I do want to make the box look really good. So I think I can get half of what the truck is worth out of that box, I'm hoping. Because it's really not that bad, just uh, paint peeled. So, Anyways, uh, hope everybody has a good week. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.